in Ligon Street, the Italian heart of Melbourne, you can find authentic Thai food at Ying Thai 2 and it's a Thai select restaurant. So we're here in the kitchen at Ying Thai 2 and I'm joined by the executive chef Kun Kent, so what do you cup, Kun Kent? So what do you cup? So what do you cup? So what cup? So what are you going to cook for us today? Uh, today we are going to make the pad thai prawn for pad you. Pad thai prawn, yep. fantastic. One of the most traditional and the best Thai dishes. So with the pad thai prawn, what are the ingredients that you've got here? At first, uh, we have the noodle. Okay. It's on here. The tofu and the dry shrimp and the sweet turnip. Sweet turnip. Yeah. And this one, uh, Chinese chive, beautiful, and uh, cloud peanut, and uh, palm sugar, so like the a palm syrup. sugar syrup, yeah, and the prawn and shallot, and the garnish with the uh, coriander and uh, eggs. And what's really important, guys, is with those <coughs> rice stick noodles that you buy the Thai rice stick noodles. These are fantastic. This one here is a Chef's Choice brand. They're really great, soaked in water overnight. That means they can go into the pan and cook really quickly. And I also noticed, Chef, you've got some sriracha chili sauce there. What, what does that do for the pad thai? Oh, uh, to make the pad thai more color and more hot then. Okay, so a little yeah. bit of spice. Yeah. And the tamarind? Tamarind make the pad thai quite sour. Nice sour, and that's yeah. the, the tamarind fruit. Yep. And of course, we finish it off with a really good quality Thai fish sauce. Mate, I'm really excited to see how you do this. Okay. Fantastic. Well, take it away, Chef. So, first I have to cook the prawn first. So, a nice high heat. Wow. Okay. So, just remove those prawns. Yeah. So, we put the tofu first. Yes. The fried tofu, mm -hmm. and here it became bao. So tofu is quite traditional in Pad Thai, right? Yeah. yeah. So the fresh shallot, just yeah. about, what, one teaspoon of shallot? Yeah. Yeah, the shallot made it smell good. Mm -hmm. And then, you put the noodle. Yeah, those soaked noodles, straight into the wok, and the moisture from the noodle will also cook itself from within. Yeah. Yep. If you want it soft, just put at the water, not too much. Okay, just a splash of water, just to create that steam. Okay, yep. When the noodle is soft, you put all of the things. The sweet turnip and the shrimp. The shrimp? Yeah. The sweet turnip and the shrimp, there's a lovely chew that comes from both of those ingredients. These are the shrimp here from Thailand. When you eat them, they're sort of a, a rich chew, and then also that's the turnip there. You can get it at any good Asian grocer. Lovely and, texture. And prawn. Back with the prawns? Yeah. The palm sugar first. Right. Just maybe two spoons. And one tamarind. Chili sauce. And the chili sauce right. as well. And that's what's key about Thai food, isn't it, Chef? Having that balance of flavour. This one is a fish sauce. Wonderful. And then, fry. And everything mixed together? Yep. You put the bean shoot. Bean shoot? Yep. So you're just going to fry the egg on the side of the noodles? Yeah. Here. Just a low temperature, otherwise it's burn. Right, so drop the temperature right down yeah. and, put and just let the egg oil. set. Yep. So you've made like a little omelette, like a little flat egg omelette, yeah. like a little barrier underneath. If, if you put the egg further, when you stir fry, the egg is broken. Right. You can't see the egg. Right. Right. And then you put the peanut. And you can use with the coriander. Little bit of coriander on top. Yeah. 
I know we always talk about smell-o-vision and I really wish there was such a thing because it smells incredible. Really true, authentic flavours, Chef Kent. Thank yeah. you very much. Copcorn mark, mark up. This is an incredible dish. You've got to come down to Ying Tai Tu in Ligon Street, Carlton. This is authentic Thai at its best. And I should point out that Chef Ken is a winner in the Thailand Pad Thai competition. So it was a real treat to get to taste his Pad Thai. So Kun Um, we've already tried the food downstairs, but can you tell me a little bit about the design of the restaurant? I need something different to add a Thai restaurant because uh, I need something like a more modern one and I look clean and you know when the people walk past here and then see the Thai restaurant, oh wow, yeah. it looks different to other Thai restaurants. Right. But all, the, all my food but still real Thai and authentic Thai. What a wonderful opportunity, eating the best Thai food in Australia. Now it's time to continue my journey to experience the best in Thai Select.